Welcome to Talkin' Drawful. I'm your host, the Irreverend Ellsworth. But Reverend, are you official? Yes, I am. Thanks for tuning in today. Hopefully you were looking for a little bit of modern day Bob Ross meets a little bit of sarcastic jaded Neanderthal. Something along those lines. Got a little bit of hand porn for you. Oh yeah. Anyway, today I'm going to be just drawing what I like to draw every day. Ridiculously simple faced people with very large breasts. So, if that's something that sounds like your cup of tea, stay tuned in here today as both of those things will be coming up. In fact, one of those is already on its way to your viewing pleasure as we speak. I like to oversimplify faces because I could spend a lot of time just on the eye alone, but I like to push myself and see what I can create in Small as time as possible? I don't know, small as time as possible is proper English, but that's what we're going to aim for either way. Either way, got a little... Yep, yep, going good. Oh, little mistakes, that's all right. I like to run with the mistakes. Like scissors. Because <laughs> they're fun when they're short. <laughs> and they're funny. Oh, look at that. She looks so simple. Well, not, I mean, not, not simple. She looks like she has properly complicated mental processes. What I'm saying is that she looks like she might not be bothered by too much currently. And as that, and as such, why would she be wearing a top, which she is not? So one of the things I like to do when I draw a girl's sh shirt right off of her is that I like to give her some shoulders. And she works out a little bit. Maybe she's got a little stress going on. Got a pretty decent there. Shoulder muscles going on there. There you got a little neck coming down here. See, she 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 works out a bit. I like I like this. I don't know who she is, but Ooh, a little little extreme on the shoulders there. It's all right. Sometimes a little little longer neck than necessary. But she's got a kind of a long head, so you know a little short neck might not make sense. But about one head below the head is, of course, our good old friend Wu Tang symbol. Yeah, that's right. Turn into that to a yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I think this one might be straight on. This one feels like it might be straight on. It's kind of coming at a weird angle, but no, oh, that's alright. Make everything work now. <laughs> I started with like a Wu-Tang symbol, now it's going into like the Eye of Sauron. That's incredible. <laughs> Keep trying to make these videos and something goes wrong each time. Each time, I'm not sure what's going wrong, but you know, make it work. Make it work, my friends. I'll tell you this, sometimes you just hide the mistakes in the shading, really. Yeah, I think that's the point of shading, is to hide the mistakes. I don't know, could be. When you're doing a, a lot of strong color right next to each other, if you skip a line, it helps you keep uh, colors distinct, and then it doesn't just kind of all blur. Give us some shoulders here. There we go, a little curve in there for that. What is she doing? She's doing something. She's holding something like this, a stick. Maybe she's holding a giant marker. <laughs> yeah, she's going to beat somebody. She's going to beat somebody with that marker. She's going to beat, beat him. Beat him like a, like she knew him. Like she knew him in a previous life and they'd done her wrong. She's going to beat him like that. She is going to beat them with a marker. She's got a she's got a firm grip too. Yep, got a firm grip on that marker. She's gonna hurt somebody with that marker. She don't want to hurt nobody with the marker. 
No, she she thinks there might be some pain going on. Now hands are another thing you can get real crazy on. I'm not gonna lie. Spent a lot of time. Um, there's uh, what's his name? Burn Hogarth. Does some amazing human anatomy books. Amazing. Oh, that's it. She's gonna hurt somebody with a paintbrush. She's an artistic kind of lady. She's going to beat somebody with an art brush. I like that. I like that about you there, Sarah Lee. <laughs> nah, I don't know what her name is. I didn't name her, you know? She's she's about to pen somebody's day up. She don't play around. Funny. Uh, the more I draw, the more I enjoy it. The better I get at it, the faster I get it. You know, putting because it, it, every everything in a in a drawing has a has a decision, and you're making these random decisions. You know, what does this hand look like? What is it? Is this thumb shadowed? Is this thumb coming back there like this? But I mean, Bern Hogarth does real good realism. But you know, I I like to keep it fun. I don't want to spend all day rendering something. I think I was saying earlier how Terry Moore of Strangers in Paradise would often say, you know, get get your basic structures right first, you know, before you go crazy on stuff. You know, you, you can go in and get detailed, but, it, you know, it, get, get a good sense of where things are in the picture first. That's why a lot of people do, like, thumbnails. You know, they'll do a little thumbnail of something before they, just so they can work out some basic problems. Now, clearly, I've done no thumbnail because this feels, like, foreshortened and, I don't know, that's not quite where I would have put it, but these are fun sketches, right? Right, sure. <laughs> these are fun. <laughs> Keep telling yourself they're fun. They're fun. I love these sketches. I love them. Actually, I do like them. They're kind of fun. They're rather fun indeed. So, yeah, there's that. Thanks for tuning in to Talk and Drawful. Tune back in again. Watch me draw something else.